I've always liked working with composers, with hands in particular, in a way where you want to free them from the constraints of the picture. You want them to be inspired by it. But I like hands to be able to write freely and not be trying to hit cuts, not be trying to squeeze things into the tightest edits that we're going to wind up with for certain sequences. I want to kind of hear where his imagination would go, were it completely free to just interpret the ideas of the script. And then based on that, we take that in the edit suite, we start finding interesting points of synchronization between picture and the music he's written. Hans is one of the great masters of finding the sound of things. Not just what the tunes are, not just what the, what the notes are, but how they're played, what the voices are of the thing. What seemed to work really well in this movie is to turn even more towards electronics. Dark Knight was already pretty heavy on the electronics, but this one somehow pushing that whole thing a little bit further. We took things which were created completely electronically. These ambiences, these atmosphere tracks, and put them in front of the orchestra and said, okay, now I want the orchestra to go and imitate, synthesize electronic sounds. I booked the craziest, biggest brass section I think ever assembled in a studio. Six bass trombones, six tenor trombones, four tubas in the middle, and six French horns above. The force when they were really blowing. You know, it's, it's a physical force. You know, it hits you. Early on, I had just started writing and I was thinking, you know, I'd love to have sort of one other color in the score. And I was thinking guitars. And then I was thinking, this is sort of a hideous thing that happens when you have guitars and orchestra. And you know, I was sort of sitting there and playing around with sort of bad sampled guitar sounds and I started coming up with this little tune. And it was like I knew at that moment who I was writing for. OK, so it goes, goes up again then, right? He said he was going to get somebody, somebody like Johnny Marr was how he said it, you know, the smile on his face, which of course to me meant that was exactly who we were going to have <laughs> playing it, which I was excited about from, you know, knowing Johnny Wong's music from the Smiths. That was quite a good one. Yeah. He's a bit of a, bit of a legend. Hans is a sort of minimalist composer with a sort of maximalist production sense. So he'll write these incredibly specific and simple pieces, but the way in which you'll then record that and produce that is on such a colossal scale and with so much movement and drive that there's a point where, particularly on the reels six and seven on everything we've done together, we just let the music take over everything. And make them just turn the music louder and louder and louder because you realize that the momentum of the film is entirely defined by the structure of the music as the film sort of snowballs towards the end.